Welcome to the MTD Technical Corner. Today we will be reviewing the Chick System 5 work holding solution from First MTA. Richard, welcome back to the MTD studio. Great to see you again. Great to see you too, Gio. Thank you very much. Been really enjoying your demos recently. Um, now, Richard, we've got a lot to cover in a short period of time because you're going to be giving us an overview of the whole portfolio of Chick System 5 work holding solutions. So tell us about it. Okay, Chick System 5 is an innovative work holding solution for repeat work. Um, it's based around a machinable jaw system, so you can clamp any kind of shape of workpiece. Um, it starts off with this foundation, which is um, a, a matrix that you can fit all of the other chick work holding products onto. So it gives you that um, quick change, as well as a precise location for your work holding onto your machine. Um, this here, the quick lock, is the sort of base unit of chick. Uh, it's a three jaw system, so you've got a fixed center jaw and two moving jaws and that's what you use to clamp your work pieces and you machine the jaws to suit the work piece and you can take them off and put different jaws on for different work pieces and they, they locate very precisely and it's very, very quick so you can do very fast setups. And this, this system is then being used in other areas for other types of machining, whereas this is designed for vertical machining centers. We also offer this solution uh, on a what we call a multi-lock which is more for horizontal machining centers and we also offer the multi-lock fitted to a fourth axis to take vertical machining centers and use them more like a horizontal machining center and get those benefits to your um, productivity that you would normally get from a horizontal machining center. Great explanation and I suppose it's in the caption really efficiency free work. Already. Exactly. Now could you potentially put a, a multi-lock onto a fifth axis machine or a quick lock onto a fifth, fifth axis machine too? You can do, you can. We, we, some of the smaller multi-locks are quite often used on, on five axis machines and they are a good way of being able to use a five axis machine and present more parts to the spindle whereas a lot of people t uh, they seem to use five axis machines for single part machining. It's not necessary. The smaller ones will fit on there and you can get up to sort of 16 work pieces in there to present to the spindle. Well, so what I can gather from this, a very versatile and modular work holding solution for all milling machines. Absolutely. So let's start with the foundation plate and the quick locks for the free axis machine when yes. you're doing two op work. Exactly. Um, but it's not, it's, it's a lot more than that, like you've explained, Richard. You, you're not only holding two parts, but then you can remove the the dual station jaws and have single station you can set up. we can supply single station as well as these face plates which and how do, are, the, how do the face plates work well the face plate is a, a base for a fixture and once you've removed the jaws this face plate just goes straight on there you tighten the handle up and it's locked in to 20 micron precision so and it forms the uh, the base for a fixture so you can very quickly go between clamping two work pieces clamping large single work pieces or clamping multiple smaller work pieces Again, very, very versatile. Tell me about the, the repeatability, accuracy, clamping forces of this system. Well, you have uh, better than 20 micron repeatability on the center jaw, which is the jaw where you get your location from. Uh, same applies to the, uh, the face plates. When you fit those, you get better than 20 micron repeatability. And we have a, a round and diamond pin set underneath locating them, so you don't have any issues with over constraints and things like that. As far as actually uh, clamping force goes, one of the key areas with using machinable work holding is that you can achieve very high quality surface contact between your work holding and your workpiece, especially with the quick lock and the system five, because you have no jaw deflection and you have no jaw lift. So you, you get that very high quality of surface contact, which means you don't actually need very high clamping forces, which is fantastic for things like thin walled items or items made of softer materials where you don't want to distort your workpiece. And you're still eliminating that vibration. Absolutely, because the more you envelop your workpiece in a machinable jaw, the more rigid it's going to be, uh, but also the better and the more precise it's going to locate. Perfect. Now, moving on to the ISS. So now you're transferring all that uh, technology, if you like, and, and, and that solution onto an ISS, as we can see on screen. Now, what benefits do you get from this by introducing this onto your free axis machine tool? Well, it's a good question, Gio. Um, what you get is effectively 90% of the benefit of having a horizontal machine, but in a four axis vertical machining center. So you've got access to at least three sides of each of your work pieces. You've got multiple faces you can mount your work pieces to, 
Um, so you're presenting more work pieces to the spindle and you're getting that walk away time from the operator and finished work pieces out, out of the machine every cycle because you can hit three sides of each and six sides of at least half your work pieces. So what you're saying, quick clocks for free access machine tools you're doing two up, two up work. Two up work, adjacent, uh, sorry, opposite side machining. ISS, now effectively you're presenting three sides of the component yes. to the spindle at any one given time. But you can present up ones and up two. So effectively, you're doing six-sided work in, in one cycle. Exactly, exactly. You can put raw material on and finished work pieces off, which means um, from your first cycle, you've got finished work pieces. And if someone needs them in a hurry, you can supply them. So for example, Richard, if this was my machine bed and I had a free axis machine tool and I had six up uh, work, six-sided work that I needed to do, it would require six operations. Exactly. On an ISS, I could do it in one cycle. In one, one cycle. cycle. Two operations in one cycle. Game changer. Absolutely. Game changer. Absolutely. It's massive. So let's move on now to the multi locks for the horizontal machine tools. What um, differences or what different options do you have? As we, as we can see on screen here, you've got all of the face plates and, and jaw options. But what about the base plate? Well, the, these are supplied to suit your machine. So uh, we have a database of useful information about machine tools, and we will supply that with the riser underneath it that eliminates the dead zone in your horizontal machine and a base plate suitable for your pallet. So it bolts straight on, you clock it up once, and then you're sorted. Um, also, what you'll find is um, one, of the, one of the key benefits of, the, of this system is there's a mechanism in there that you can adjust so that you don't need to have three hands to remove work pieces from the dual station jaw set. You can release one work piece at a time uh, and you can do it all with two hands. Whereas when you're using one of, the, one of our System 5 systems on a vertical machining center, it's not that important. You'd much rather have both workstations open at the same time. So that's what our third hand mechanism does, can be adjusted to do either. So what you're trying to say there is, Richard, is when, when you're like unlocking the jaws, they work independently, so only yeah. one component will be released only at one a time and the other one won't just fall out. Exactly, exactly. Perfect, great solution. Now, what different sizes do they come in? What different configurations can you get, not only for the, for the horizontal machines, but free axis machine tools and, and so on and so forth? Well, they all use the same jaws and they all use the same uh, face plates, um, but uh, there are different sizes available. They start at 200 millimeters by 50 millimeters, so that's a very tiny one, up to 500 millimeters by 150 millimeters, which is a lot larger, obviously. But within that range, each one has its own type of jaw, but the jaws come in different sizes as well. So we do wider jaws, we do taller jaws, we do oversized jaws that are quite a lot bigger to give you a bit more meat for more awkward things you might need to clamp where you need a bit more space to work with. And and uh, yeah, and that's, that applies to the jaws in the single station and the dual station, as well as the face plates. And as well as the multi-locks too, yes. they come in different sizes, different Absolutely. configurations to suit swing diameters, so on and all, so all forth. Of the, all of the sizes available in this are also available in that. Brilliant. Richard, it's been a real education into System 5 work holding solutions um, from First MTA. Um, how should people get in touch to find out more? Well, you could just give us a call. Uh, we're happy to come on site and have a chat with yourselves about the type of work holding you need and have a look at the solution and what you're actually trying to achieve. Come up with some ideas on how to get you there. Richard, it's been an absolute pleasure as always. So there you have it. System 5 Work Holding Solutions from First MTA. To find out more, contact First MTA.